ओके सो ग्रेड सिक्स साइंस यूनिट यूनिट फाइव यूनिट फाइव लेसन वन सम स्टूडेंट सेड दे डिडन अंडरस्टूड द एक्टिविटी बुक सो टेक द एक्टिविटी बुक यूनिट फाइव लेसन वन पेज नंबर फिफ्टी सो टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द एक्टिविटी बुक लेसन वन टू एंड थ्री ओके लिसन सो फर्स्टली एक्टिविटी बुक पेज नंबर फिफ्टी यूनिट फाइव लेसन वन electrical conductors and insulators so exercise 5.1 which materials conduct electricity so here they are given uh, some materials the number uh, 1 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 materials are there your duty uh, your duty uh, number question number 2 i am saying okay identify objects One, number 1 to 10 picture fill in your answer in column 1 of the table so page number 51 listen identify the material that each object is made from uh, for example metal wood plastic paper like that fill in your answer in column 2 of the table uh, decide whether each is an electrical conductor or an electrical insulator Uh, record your answer by putting a tick in either column 3 or 4 of the table so first column you want to write the object what is that second column uh, you want to write the, whether it's a metal plastic paper wood glass anything and the third column electrical conductor if it is a conductor you have to tick that column or it is an insulator tick the fourth column so do uh, like that so uh, first one Uh, look the number one page number fifty. What is that? That is a key. So you can write the object column key, and the key you know it is a uh, definitely a metal. So you can tick the electrical conductor. And next one, uh, next next one uh, number two a cork. Cork you know like a rubber. So that is not a uh, conductor. So tick the electrical insulator column. Uh, object cork and the material also cork then number 3 that is a toy duck the uh, children they are using for playing that's a, a toy duck that's made by uh, next column plastic so you know plastic it's it is an in, uh, electrical insulator then fourth one fourth one you can see the that is a paper clip we are using for stapling for grouping papers uh, paper clip definitely that is a metal so next column it is an electrical conductor then number 5 number 5 that is a paper so paper is made up of paper uh, paper it is an insulator number 6 bag that is a plastic bag so object is bag and the metal is plastic so it is an in electrical insulator the number 7 you know you are familiar with that that's a uh, chopstick uh, it is uh, the object is a chopstick and the material is wood so automatically wood is an electrical insulator then number 8 it is the drinking glass we are drinking the tea juice like that the glass so the material is uh, glass glass is an insulator then number 9 knife knife surely it is metal so it is a conductor and number 10 shirt shirt is made by cotton or fabric like that but that is an electrical insulator not a conductor so i will send uh, i will send through the whatsapp the picture okay just to understand you can write after the first question what what is the difference between an electrical conductor and an electrical insulator already we studied in the learners book an electrical conductor allows electricity to pass through and electrical insulator does not allow electricity to pass through that is the definition of that uh, so that is the lesson 1 then come to the lesson 2 page number 52 page number 52 Exercise 5.2. Does water conduct electricity? 
uh, we discussed that material uh, pure water is an insulator it does not conduct electricity uh, but the water with salty water water with salty that is a condu conductor they will conduct electricity okay what is the exercise here first question what is pure water so how can we make pure water like that that question so pure water is water that has been boiled and the steam has been condensed you know the lower class we studied the water cycle so from the water source the water will boil and the steam will go and after condensation the steam again return to the form of water so pure water is water that has been boiled and the steam has been condensed directly condensed that is pure water we studied the distilled water is an example of uh, that then question number 2 how is tap water different to pure water uh, tap water has salts dissolved in it and pure water has no salts dissolved in it that is the difference between both of them why can plants animals and human conduct electricity that is a very important question why can plants animals and humans conduct electricity you know we studied in the case of the human and the some the living organism in the in their body 65 percentage of 65 percentage of water so if if that water 65 percentage of water whether it is uh, distilled water uh, that's insulator bad conductor they won't uh, conduct electricity but the water inside our bodies uh, not a distilled water that is salty water we discussed the examples the sweat tears blood like that all salty water so uh, automatically salty water will conduct electricity so what is the question why can plants animals and humans conduct electricity because they contain water with salts dissolved in them that's why conducting electricity okay number 4 you can do your own uh, one ad uh, sign up put up an uh, restaurant kitchen to warm workers never to use wet hands near electrical stoves and appliances when we are using any electrical things uh, never use wet hand uh, just a what say giving an awareness you have to make a poster like that that you can do your own idea the number 5 page number 53 question number 5 jawad has just completed a 20 km run he is very hot and sweaty the first thing that he does when he gets home he turn on the electric fan jawad moves the fan and it touches some bare wire where the plastic insulation has worn away there is no plastic insulation directly he touch the copper wire the metal wire so what has happened to jawad in this situation already his body is wet and the wire does not have any coating okay so what will happen jawad has had an electric shock then question b list the three factors that caused this to happen why this why this happen uh, you have to suggest three reasons one is his body is sweaty uh, uh, what will happen sweat is salty water second the insulation is worn and the third the plug is on there are the three mistakes okay that is the Mm. reason for uh, jawad had an electric shock so um, many many reasons are there they are asking only three reason uh, one is the body is uh, sweaty and the insulation is worn i will study the next coming lesson what is the need of insulation everything and the plug is on uh, that's a, another mistake if the plug is switched off there is no problem okay then come to the page number 54 page number 54 uh, exercise 5.3 do different metals conduct electricity equally well uh, the learners book yesterday we discussed that the conduction of electricity 
all the metals are same or not so we measured that by using a device called a multimeter by using multimeter we can uh, check that the amount of the electricity passing through the conductors in each conductors we can check that so here in this exercise you will apply what you know about how well different metals conduct electricity uh, there is uh, two students tom and abba have just finished testing some metals to see how well they conduct electricity uh, here are their result you know two students they have done an experiment they measured the amount of the electricity passing through passing through the uh, different metals they measured that then they had to uh, made a table that table picture is on the page number 54 okay page number 54 the picture of the table so what is their reading uh, they checked first uh, aluminium aluminium uh, the current they measured 8.2 ampere 8.2 ampere and uh, stainless steel 5.1 ampere brass 8.3 ampere steel 6.1 ampere silver 8 ampere gold 8.5 ampere copper 8.2 ampere uh, here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 material 7 conductors 7 metals and alloys uh, they measured they measured the amount of current passing through these three seven um, metals so that is the result of their experiment then your duty uh, based on this result uh, you want to answer some questions they have given the question first question which three metals are alloys here they are given seven aluminium stainless steel brass steel silver gold copper out of this which three metals are alloys you know we studied alloys alloys means it is a mixture of metals not only a single metal uh, for example copper it is only a metal only copper but steel steel is not a single metal iron and carbon is there so there are two metals like that two or more than two uh, two or more than two a uh, mixture of metals that is called alloy so here which are the three alloys the question so you can uh, answer the question aluminum is not an, not an alloy next one stainless steel stainless steel is an alloy we studied which are the uh, metals in stainless steel and brass brass is an alloy the next one steel steel is an alloy so this three stainless steel brass and steel are alloys but aluminum silver gold and copper that are not alloys the pure gold are all the pure things pure silver pure gold pure copper pure aluminum that are not alloys uh, stainless steel brass and steel are alloys the next question which which five metals would be suitable for electrical wiring you know in the case of wiring we want to check which which substance or which metal will allow the electricity pass through fastly so based on this column based on this uh, result you can identify uh, which which metals are uh, allowing more current pass through them so you can see the values uh, i think there are five metals the their ampere their amount of the current uh, more than 8 aluminum is 8.2 brass 8.3 silver 8 gold 8.5 copper 8.2 so this five uh, we can use this five because they are conducting more electricity the number uh, number 2 b how do you know this because they have the highest ampere measurements Uh, from the table we can see they have the highest ampere measurements means they are conducting more 
electricity. Then question number three, which metal is usually used for electrical wiring? Uh, we are using which metal usually for electrical wiring? You know, uh, when we are seeing any wire inside, we can see which metal. There is no doubt that is copper. We can see copper uh, we are using mainly, usually we are using for the electrical wiring. Why are in the other metals you listed in question two used for this purpose? Question two, you list what? Uh, you listed aluminum, brass, silver, gold, and copper. Five, five metals we listed. Then uh, after that, you are saying we are using mainly, usually copper. So they are asking, then why are in the other metals, other four metals, uh, we are not using? So what is the reason for what is the answer? You can think what is the uh, advantage and disadvantage of aluminum, brass, silver, gold. Uh, they are more expensive. That is the reason. And not only copper, we can use aluminum, brass, silver, gold for the wiring, but the problem, they are more expensive. Then the next things, then the next things, next things, uh, question number five, draw a bar chart of the results using the axis below. Uh, give you, okay, uh, by using this, by using this table, this result, you want to you want to use you want to draw a bar chart. You know bar chart. Uh, we we have done the uh, previous chapters. The x-axis will take the metals: aluminium, stainless steel, brass, steel, silver, gold, and copper. And the y-axis. <laughs> View options, la. Recording off either. Recording off either. 